kind of helps to have the mic on, right? Wow. I did not shave whatsoever. I thought I was doing good by just putting on a clean shirt. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into this video. I appreciate you joining me. This is MTV Over 40. If you've never uh, seen an episode of any of my videos, this is all about a journey of me getting on a mountain bike and seeing what happens. It's all about the journey. It's not the destination and everything is just evolving all the time. If you haven't already, please uh, give a subscribe and hit that bell notification. If you're interested in this type of content, would love to have you along for the journey. Uh, if not, then hey, I'm just glad you're watching the video. What we're gonna talk about, well, uh, a lot of you have asked about what I'm using to film my rides, and it has been a constant evolution of figuring out gear, figuring out where I'm putting it, all those different things. I went, started with chest mount, then went to chin mount, now I'm back to chest mount, and what cameras I'm using, all those things. And so I just wanted to uh, do a quick video because I, I feel like I've settled on the perfect, uh, well, I won't say perfect, but what has been doing well the last couple of videos, the last couple of rides that I've done in this way of filming. The camera I'm using is a GoPro, so I would just want to preface and just say, yes, I'm a GoPro ambassador. No, they are not paying me to do this video. No, I don't get paid to be an ambassador. So these are just my opinions. And I will talk about a little bit about some of the other things I've tried, but, but really I want to first talk about the GoPro, the GoPro Hero 9. This is what I've been using lately, okay? It has been a great camera. Now you notice I've got a lens. This is not the, the regular lens because this is the, bam. It's the lens mod. Yeah. I've been using this for, you know, actually a, a couple months now. You know, I'm not going to go into all the specs. There's tons of videos out there that will do that for you. Again, I'm just showing you what I'm using to film my rides and why I like it. So first of all, the, the ability to basically have a gimbal-ish look to your footage is what's great about the lens mod. And you can, yeah, it gives you an extra wide view. And then in the settings, you can uh, do horizon uh, leveling. And what that does is in the footage, you know, as the bike turns and does this, this type of stuff, you know, in the horizon, you know, some people love that type of footage where, you know, it just stays with it. It's a little bit jittery. It's not as smooth, but some people like it because it's, it's very action. And yes, you know, riding a bike is very action based. But for me, I wanted something a little bit more smoother, something that you can not only just check out what the, you know, what I'm doing on the bike, but also seeing the trail and seeing what's ahead, seeing what's around. And I think that's what's best about using the Max lens mod um, with the Hero 9 and the horizon leveling. It gives you that gimbal look, but you don't have the gimbal. You've shed all the weight. You don't have to really wear that. It's not exactly like a gimbal. It's not gonna be perfect, you know, perfectly. You're, you, you'll probably be able to tell some differences between this with the Max Lens Mod and a gimbal, sure. But I don't wanna wear a gimbal. I don't wanna wear all that stuff. And so I think this is the next best thing. So. The downside of it, of course, is if you've read up on the specs, is that you can only for, uh, film in 2.7K, uh, which is 1440 um, vertical. So, you know, it's not 4K fully, but I've been editing everything in 4K. I up res the footage to 4K, and I can't tell a difference. I think it looks amazing. Another thing I've done is that I started shooting in. 2997, which is basically 30 frames a second. I went from 24 to 30 frames per second. I think it's a, bit, a little bit more clear image. I think for the fast motion that riding the trails uh, provides, I think having those extra frames makes it a little bit more smoother, more clear. And the compression that YouTube puts on the videos, I think is more suited for that frame rate and it's a little bit more clear and, and, and more present. So I, I like the 30 frames per second for that type of uh, filming. The other thing I also do 
is I film in the 4-3 ratio. So it's not the 16 by 9 ratio, it's the 4-3. And the reason why I love that is because then I get to frame up the footage however I want. So if it's so as I wear it, because I wear it on my chest, if I if if it gets knocked or anything like that and it's pointing a little bit further down, I still have extra headroom up here. So I can always in post bump that footage up a little bit. Or vice versa, if it's pointed up too much, because you know I wear it upside down, um, then I get to bump it down a little bit. It gets it gives you the full four three ratio image, and so you can play a lot uh, play around with that. Some people won't like that. Some people would rather just hey, it's just out of the camera, just put it in and go, and that's fine. But I like having the flexibility. I've got to put it in the editor anyway. I've got to edit the footage anyway. So having that extra headroom or bottom room allows me to kind of frame it however I want. And I've already been doing that and I love it. It's, it's great that way. One of the other things I'm doing is I have uh, teamed this up with the Max Lens Mod, okay? And so you can take this, you can slide it in. I'm sure you guys have seen the Max Lens Mod before if you know anything about GoPro. Um, and then it closes and now you've got it, its own case. And as you can see, I've got a Rode, let's see if you can see that, yep, a Rode wireless uh, Go 2. I've gone through several iterations with it. I wanted the Max Lens Mod because originally, you know, on the back, it's got these different ports on it, and uh, it's got a it's got a microphone input, it's got an HDMI, and then I think I'm not sure what the other one is. It's a HDMI mini, but anyway, I was using this to hook a lav to uh, on my chest mount, and then I realized that uh, you know it wasn't great. I had the extra cabling, and it sounded good. It was working well, but I just didn't like having all the cables. I tried to tuck, finding different places to tuck that extra cable in from the microphone was was always cumbersome. I would ride, I even tried taping it to the back of the, the, the chesty and sweat and riding and moving, you know, just pulled the tape off. You know, Rode came out with the wireless uh, Go and which I was originally gonna do, but then they came out with the Go 2 and I said even better because sometimes I like to talk to people on, on my rides and I thought that was going to be perfect. I could mic both of us up or I could, you know, when I do interviews with people, I could use the same setup. It was very multifunctional. And the other good thing is that I can, uh, it's, it's a little stiff on here, but the media mod has two, I don't know if you can see that, two hot shoe mounts, one on the side and one on the top. And this fits perfectly uh, to the one on the side. And then, so I just, Hook it up to the side. Um, you have to have the the wind muff that comes with the media mod. You have to take off because it won't sit flush. Um, and then you just take it and you do the input. Oh, I accidentally turned it on. I don't know why I did that. It comes with this nice little bendable cable, and then you just hook it to the lens mod input mic input without flubbing. And then it per it's perfect. You can kind of tuck this away. I kind of just wrap this cable so it's just kind of tucked away. And then I hook this to my chest mount and that's it. That's the footprint. It's not very big at all. And the sound quality is amazing. So I've got these, these uh, transmitters and I've got two of them just in case I want to have someone else on the ride. And they've got wind muffs. So I just hooked that to all this to my chesty. So Okay, so I hooked it up to my stuntman um, chesty, and I'll talk a little bit about chesties as well. Um, I've settled on the stuntman uh, chesty because I think this is the best one, in my opinion. This has been the best one, best fitted, feels the most stable, uh, and fits me the best. But anyway, this is how I wear it. So this is, you know, it's underslung. It's got the wireless go. Cables, you know, are tucked underneath. They don't move. And this is about the, you know, the width, the the position I have it. It's a little bit maybe, maybe a little bit more, maybe like that is about how I do it, about how it's angled. So not very, you don't need to really tilt it up that high. Um, no wind muffs. I don't need a wind muff because my transmitter, you know, has a wind muff on it. 
you know, with these wireless go twos. And so I, what I do is I hook this. I was wearing it on my shirt, um, but some of my shirts are really tight and then it, it just shoved the, the microphone really on my throat and I just didn't like that. So I started doing this where I just tuck it under the first, so it's, so the strap, so it's in between the straps. And so when the strap is taut, it adds a little bit extra security and it doesn't move. Like you would think that this would probably fall out. It doesn't, it's really gripping that really, really well. Like this, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Ugh. I'm very, my, my voice is very, you know, very much near it, uh, the mic. And when it's taut, it's actually squeezed in, the mic is squeezed in the, and it just doesn't come out. And uh, yeah, so that's how I wear it. Um, and it has worked well. I've done the last two videos that way. And I'm really, really happy with the way it has turned out. So yeah, so that's the setup. The other thing I've changed is I went from using the, uh, as far as the settings go, the GoPro Hero Flat uh, profile, because you can do the Pro Tune, and then you can choose the color profile. I was using the flat profile, and then I switched over to the GoPro color because it has been phenomenal. They have drastically improved the color profile of the GoPro color in ProTune, and I couldn't be happier. I don't have to color the footage hardly at all. I might boost the saturation just a little bit, or might warm it up or cool it down just a little bit, but really, I, I barely have to touch it on any of the last several videos that I've been using that profile. So that's the other thing I've changed, and I've really been happy with it. Okay, real quick before I go, I want to talk about the chest mount because, I'm, as I mentioned, I have settled on the stuntman chest mount, and I went through a couple different ones. Uh, in, in one of my other videos, when I'm Ryan Wilkins Branch, I test the Oclu uh, or OCLU chest mount, and that is here. That's this one, and I really liked this one. Um, I liked it because of just how, you know, I liked the, the connecting feature. I liked how, you know, it fit, it fit really well. And I like just being able just to pull it around and then snap and you're done, right? Um, the problem is the mount. Uh, this mount is not suited for when you have the media mod. And that really stinks. When you have the media mod on here, it won't flip all the way down. It'll flip up. But the problem I have with flipping up is that it doesn't lean far enough back uh, for you to get when I'm, you know, leaning forward in the bike, it won't lean far enough back to get more of the trail, more of the horizon. So, you know, and underslinging it, it was like this, you know, I couldn't get it to go all the way down or down far enough. So that was kind of the downfall of the Oclu. I really love the mount. And if you don't use the media mod, uh, you know, and you have the hero eight hero nine, this will actually work really well. Um, but I just, when I attach the media mod to it, the way they design this, this connecting mount, uh, it just won't work really well. So, uh, I have the, I do have the older GoPro chesty somewhere. I can't find it. <laughs> I do have it. I was going to upgrade to the newest chest mount, uh, cause I know it had some extra padding and everything like that, but I decided to go with the stuntman because, you know, I've seen a lot of guys use them and rave about them. I decided just to test that out before I did the GoPro uh, chesty. I just fell in love with the uh, the stuntman. Uh, I think it's, it's solid. The straps are really well made, thick. Um, they're going to they're going to hold on to you. So uh, I feel just really secure about my stuff being on the stuntman. So anyway. So that is basically it. I've covered what I'm using, the GoPro Hero 9 Max Lens Mod Media Mod using the Rode Wireless Go 2 system for, for audio and, um, and the Stuntman Chesty. So I hope that helps. I hope you got some information about what I'm using, how I'm using it, and some of the settings. If you have any questions about any of this, I'll be happy to answer them. Just leave your questions and comments below and I will get to them as soon as I can. 
But uh, yeah, that's it. Until the next time, stay safe. Keep bottom riding. Yeah. Oh, and I'm doing that. No, I mean, like, <laughs> like I mean, like shove. The right, bike, right. Like, shove yourself off the bike. Right, right. Hold on. Yeah. Because then you can just just go over. Like just. Yeah. Don't go over that way. Yeah. Don't go, go that way. way. Just dive into here. I mean, yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. But this is. Oh my God. So much. Fun. Yeah. It looks good. Yeah. The, the amount of trail work involved. In the oh man, I can't imagine. Yeah, because we're just out of harvest right now. Yeah, I gotta be a little bit more careful.